linear operations or vectors. The linear operation of, uh, for vectors. So first, the first one is the vector additions. How to add two vectors? Vector additions. Uh, there's two uh, methods to add two vectors. The first one is triangle. Triangle law. Uh, this is the first uh, A plus B, the vector A plus vector B. That this is A. We start from here and uh, end here. And then we put, uh, we uh, place the start point of B at the end point of A. That's the B. We place the start point of B at the end point of A. Then connect the start point of A and the end point of B. This looks like a triangle. This vector is A plus B. That's the triangle law. The second uh, uh, one is parallel parallel parallelogram law. We place A and B at the same start point and use these two this you do use these two as a adjacent side of parallelogram or to our Parallelogram and put and uh, draw a vector from the start point to the opposite vertex. And this this vector is A plus B. That's parallelogram law. That's the addition of vector. Uh, in the end, then there is a difference of vectors. Uh, to to define the difference of two vectors, first we define the negative vector. What is the negative vector? The negative a is the uh, it has the same length with A. And the direction is the reverse direction of A. That's the negative uh, vector of A. If this is A and this is negative a the same length the same magnitude and uh, reverse direction after we have the definition of neg negative vector we we can define the difference of two vectors that's b minus a that means b plus negative a if this is uh, this is a this is b 
then b minus a that means this that's negative a and then this one is b minus a that's b plus negative a that's b minus a Okay, then uh, we define our scalar multiplication. Multiplication. We multiply a vector by a number, lambda. For every vector, we have two uh, have two properties: the length or the magnitude. The magnitude is the absolute value of lambda times the length of a. And the direction, if lambda uh, greater than zero, then lambda a has the same direction same direction as a same direction as a if lambda less than zero lambda a has a reverse direction as a that's the scalar multiplication. For addition and scalar multiplication, we have some rules. The first is A plus B equals B plus A. We can use the definition of the addition to prove this one. It's, it, maybe it's too uh, too easy. You can do it yourself. Uh, the second one is a plus b first, then plus c. That actually is a. That's b plus b plus c first, and then a plus a. The third one is a minus b equals a plus negative b. We uh, define the uh, difference this before. Define dif dif difference of two vectors before. And the fourth is land a plus b equals lambda a plus lambda b the fifth that is lambda times mu a equals lambda uh, mu a equals mu lambda a we can exchange lambda and mu and the, the, the sixth uh, six is lambda plus mu a equals lambda a plus mu a that's the uh, rules of action and scalar multiplications we can uh, we can derive these rules directive uh, by the definition of addition and scalar multiplications. And there's uh, a important theorem that if uh, the a parallel to b, if 
and only if b equals lambda times a for some lambda for actually for a unity lambda we can prove it that means if b equals lambda a then a is parallel then b is parallel to a and a parallel to b uh, it, first if b equals lambda a then b has same direction or or reverse direction on as a so b a parallel to a that's the definition there is there uh their angle their angle should be zero or pi and if a parallel to b we can define we can define lambda the absolute value of lambda is the length of b divided by length of a and uh, lambda greater than zero if if b has same direction with a and uh, we uh, let lambda less than zero if b has reverse direction as a and so so b equals lambda a because the, the length of b is the first we know that that uh, the length of b equals the absolute value of lambda times a and the direction and the direction uh, if if b is, uh, has the same direction with a and we define lambda greater than zero and the b if the b is reverse direction we define lambda less than zero so we can write b equals lambda a the second and uh, the next part uh, we prove we will prove that a lambda is unique uh, suppose there's two uh, two uh, scalar that b equals lambda a two back uh, two scalar lambda and mu b equals mu times a then we prove the, that lambda equals mu then b equals lambda a equals mu a that is lambda a minus mu a that a cos b minus b that is zero so lambda minus mu a equals zero so lambda equals mu That's the uh, 
necessary and uh, sufficient uh, conditions for two vectors are parallel. Okay, that's the linear operation of vectors.